Hello friends, this is the Russian Torts here, and today I'm going to get a new pet. My room's kind of a mess, so that's why I'm kind of like holding the camera, trying to shield everything. Um, but today we're getting a new pet, so I have bagged up the remaining guppies, which was exactly 20 of them. There's 20 feeder guppies in there. I've uh, put the guppy filter in some water, um, just so that the bacteria doesn't die off. Uh, there's some... Um, little baby guppies in there still as well and uh, I'm gonna have to clean out this aquarium but I had to do all of that because the new pet is gonna go into that aquarium and I couldn't keep the guppies so maybe that'll give you a hint of what it is also if you're following me on Instagram which you all should you'll also know what the new pet is because I kinda dropped a hint about it uh, yesterday or if I upload this video on Tuesday two days ago so let's grab the guppies and head to the pet store to pick up the new pet. So, goodbye to the guppies. They're gonna become someone's food now. And let's take a look at the new pet. And here is the new pet. Little baby axolotls. So there's uh, five of them in there, and I gotta pick which one I want, and then take them home, and we're good to go. <laughs> Honestly. Alrighty, we have arrived at home, so here's the baby axolotl, now it's time to set up its cage. So I took the liberty to already wash the guppy uh, enclosure, so this is the old guppy tank which was really just a large uh, critter keeper. So now all I have to do is put in the filter which uh, is right over here. So I'm just going to take that filter, put it in. Um, Put in a little bit of the duckweed because I do want to keep that. Axolotls don't like a lot of bright light, so it's uh, good to have a little bit of uh, plant cover over top. Then the few guppy fry that are in there, which you can kind of see swimming at the bottom. I'm also going to toss those in. Those are going to turn into a little bit of food. Might as well. Don't want to waste them. And then the aquarium's going to be good to go. So let's go grab the filter. It's going to wring it out a little bit just to get some of the gunk out of it. You know, it hasn't been cleaned in a while. And as you can see, lots of bacteria. Lots of nice bacteria. So let's grab the filter, put that in. Just gonna add some of the duckweed already there on the filter, so it's pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna set this up without filming it just because it's water and I don't want to get that on the camera obviously it was a little bit expensive and I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. So the aquarium set up it's a little bit cloudy because the uh, filter you know I moved it filter doesn't really like that but it's uh, as you can see it's pretty bare it's uh, just got the sponge filter it's got a little hidey hut and it's bare bottom because these guys will apparently eat all sorts of substrate so I decided to go without any substrate just to make it easier on myself for cleaning it and on the axolotl. So let's move the little baby axolotl who's just chilling right over here into his new home. Good thing I still had a little fishnet from the guppies which is full of duckweed but whatever. And let's try to catch this little guy. go not a problem not a problem at all there he goes or she all right kind of difficult to see but he's hiding behind the filter right now so I'm just gonna let him chill there I'm gonna give you guys an update pretty soon but for the first few days I think I'm just gonna kind of let him or her be on his or her own and I really got to figure out how to discover if it's a male or a female so that's my new pet um, I want to give it a name and I don't really know what to name the little guy. So I'm gonna need some name suggestions from you guys and girls. It can be uh, male and female names just because I don't know what the axolotl is, what gender, and I don't think it really matters. I would not mind giving a male axolotl a female name because it doesn't really matter to me that much. It's just a name. So leave some name suggestions in the comment section below and with that, I think I'm gonna start editing this video. I got class in two and a half hours, so I hope I can get this video edited and uploaded before that. Fingers crossed, usually takes me about two hours, so I think I should be able to do that. And then uh, you guys can leave me some names. So thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, everything greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.